Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is a special edition holiday themed haul for um, eBay. And I went, ended up going to a church bazaar, which I was hoping translated meant rummage sale, which it did. Uh, there's a little church about 40 minutes from here that they have three or four rummage sales a year. And even though it's tiny, the place is a gold mine for me. I have always done so well there. No matter what, I always come out with good stuff. And this trip was no exception. Um, I have not made haul videos of probably my last six weeks worth of purchases because, um, like I said in previous videos, we were all sick. And... To be honest with you guys, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to them. I, I might, but, you know, just don't hold your breath. Uh, but I do have tons of other haul videos that I've made over the season that still need to be uploaded. But I wanted to do a holiday one for you guys. So, um, let me get started and show you everything. Um, let me show you my mistakes first. Because these three things I probably should not... Well, two I definitely shouldn't have bought, and the third one is iffy. But these are all Cloth Teak Santas. These are, um, I think they're by Kurt Adler. But anyway, they had three of them right in the front as I walked in. Some of them are worth decent money. Some of them are kind of like, meh. But um, this one I thought would be a decent one to probably get maybe 15 to 20 plus shipping out of. However, I noticed later that his foot is all busted up. So, um, he's really not worth enough for me to try and sell him this way. So he might just go in the donation box. And then the next one I found was the same, same situation. This guy with the scarf, but right here it's all busted up. So, not going to be selling him, but this is what the marks look like on the bottom, if you guys want to see these. It's going to focus, there we go. And they all have the year, unfortunately they don't have the name, which kind of stinks, and none of these came with boxes. So, I was trying to look them up yesterday before I realized they were broken, um, and then found out they're really not worth trying to sell in that condition. Then there's this one. I might try and sell him. I'm not sure if he's got a cloth teak tag hanging from this little piece of faux pine, but I don't think this goes with him. Although he does hold it in his hand very nicely. So I don't know. I got to do a little bit more research on him. So I'm not sure if he's actually missing something in that hand or if I can get away with just putting that there. So we'll have to see. But if I do end up selling him, like I said, maybe only 10 to 15 plus shipping. Then I got this little um, holiday, well it's not holiday, it's um, one of those birthday month angels. This is April and it has a little bunny and basket full of eggs. She's in really, really good condition. And this is Napco, yeah, this is Napco. And um, probably maybe only get 10 plus shipping on her. Um, then I got this peanuts. Let's say it's a tabletop decor. Um, there's not really a hole where you could hang it as an ornament. But I just thought it was really cool because it has lights and music and motion, I think. I'll show you what it does. Yeah. Okay, you get the gist. And that, by the way, is one of my daughter's favorite Christmas songs. Even though, I don't know if you would technically call that a Christmas song. It's kind of the Charlie or the Peanuts theme song, but she loves that. Every time we hear that in the car during Christmas time, she starts, you know, bopping around in her seat, even at, you know, 14. So, this I can probably get about 10 to 15 plus shipping on. 
because it's in brand new condition in the box. Then I found some other ornaments and I'm going to show these all together because they're all the same line. These are all Hallmark ornaments from the Nature Sketchbook collection. These are by Marjolaine Bastine, I think that's how you say it, or Bastin. Um, but they're all, you know, little birds and woodland creatures and um, so there's five of these oval ones and these have designs on the front and the back and I did make sure I checked the boxes to make sure they're there. I have made that mistake before with Hallmark ornaments of buying them and not checking the box and getting home because they're so lightweight and finding out the box is empty. Same thing with you know CDs and DVDs. Always check inside the boxes. There's this adorable little bunny rabbit one and the cardinal and then there's actually two of yeah I have two of these and then I have these two this one is called snowy garden again with the little bunny rabbit and this is another oval one called honored guests um, these sell for about five to ten each on eBay I'm gonna put them all together at auction and probably started at 35 or 40 plus shipping and see if I get any bites if not I'll probably put it for buy it now of like 40 plus shipping and see what happens right. next up is another Hallmark ornament this one is a hummingbird it's from the me to we collection which I've never heard of before but I guess some of the money ends up um, from the initial purchase ends up going to charity this one is brand new and still sealed in the box so I can probably get I think 10 to 15 on that plus shipping then I found this Big Santa Claus. This is a pencil Santa from Lennox. For a number of years they did these pencil Santas um, annually. This is the Minstrel Santa, I believe. He does not come with a box. He is dated uh, 1999. I have a couple more of these downstairs. So we'll see how they do now that Christmas season is about to officially start. But he's made from um, cold cast porcelain. He feels like resin, but he's actually cold cast porcelain. So, um, hoping to get at least 20 plus shipping on him. Then I did get one stocking, which I think I might take to the dry cleaner because it's kind of a mess. It's this beautiful um, wool hooked stocking with a chocolate lab in the middle but it's kind of wonky up here and out of shape and then on the back you can see that there's some staining so I might take this to the dry cleaners and see if they can salvage it at all um, can't remember what the name of this is it says it's oh it's from Laura McGraws or Migraws, I don't know how to say that, from 2006. One of these in better condition, I think just sold for, I think it was around 25 plus shipping. So, see what happens with that. Then, I found this little fairy angel, whatever you want to call it, towards the end of the sale. It's one of those kind of weird artsy things you know which I normally call quirky um, with the big long legs this is from Silvestri this is part of their flurries collection this is this one just is called red seashell because she has seashell wings uh, the last one I saw in this condition new in the box sold for 22 around 22 plus sh plus shipping so that's probably what I'm gonna put this one up for 
and shouldn't have a problem getting that. Then I got, I saw this little folk art style ornament sitting on one of the tables and I just picked it up. I looked for a mark really quick, couldn't find one. It's kind of like this dancing elf and he's got a metal moon and stars in his hand and sleigh bells over here and then I finally did end up um, finding a mark on him which is probably going to be impossible for you guys to see but down here carved into it it says House of Hatton I've sold this brand before um, always a good seller so I should be able to get probably 15 to 20 plus shipping on him uh, and then I found this little figurine and turned it over and saw that it is from Willie Ray Studios. Again, a brand I've bought and sold before. Never had a problem selling it. This is a little one compared to the ones that I usually sell, so probably 10 to 15 plus shipping on him. Then um, got myself a couple things and I found this very cool gift bag for my mother. It's this weird looking bag and it's an origami wine bag. Now I can't collapse it right now because I actually have her presents in here. All her Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar goodies are in here. But anyway, you can actually collapse this whole thing down. It twists and folds so that it lies flat and it's just so cool. And my mom is completely fascinated with origami, as am I. However, she has the patience to actually do all that stuff, and I do not. I'm very bad at it. It involves measuring and math, and no. <laughs> Just not going there. Um, but I knew she would really like that, so I got that to put her one present in. And then, for me, I found this vintage... Santa picture of Santa on the telephone. It's just glued to a piece of cardboard. I have to um, re-glue this part down here. Like I said, it's nothing special, but I love it just because I love all those vintage Christmas Santas and snowmen and reindeer and all that stuff from, you know, like the 40s and 50s. And staying on that same track. Oh, and as you'll notice, I went back to my original background because the blue one it just it sucked it was really bad <laughs> it just didn't look right um, so I might ask for a new black background for Christmas and maybe some <laughs> lessons on how to like make and edit videos so I can get better at this because you know I, I know the very very basics and I have to use movie maker in my old computer which didn't come with my new laptop and so I kind of have to get with the times Oh, I might ask my, my son's friend um, does filmmaking and he's into, into theater and all that stuff. So I might ask him for some tips how I can, you know, get a little bit more advanced here. It might help me get some more subscribers because I've been in the same place like forever. And I see all these other people and they do the same type of videos I do. And they've got like all these subscribers and me, I'm just kind of hanging out here going, hello. <laughs> But anyway, that's not why I do this. I do this, you know, so you guys who are subscribers can learn. I'm not doing it to make millions of dollars, but it would be nice every once in a while if I got a few more than I actually have. All right, so this little snowman is just made of plastic. He's got the flocked head and the little wire candy cane, and he's adorable. And what I think I'm going to do with him is I bought this antique little carriage boot at a rummage sale for like a dollar which I thought was so adorable and I bought one of these little picks at Michael's and I put that in there and I think I'm just gonna tuck him inside here and then add a piece of red ribbon so that this stays closed a little bit better than it does right now and put that out as one of my decorations so. Um, and then, last but not least, probably the three best things I bought were this. I found, I think I found all three of these right towards the end. I had already been there over an hour. 
Um, this is a set of John Wright cast iron candy molds, you know, lollipop molds. So in here you get the soldier, the trumpet, the house, the bear. They're in excellent condition. This one is a snowflake, a stocking, a star, and a gingerbread man. And there's also the instructions are here along with some lollipop sticks. So I got that set and John Wright stuff sells very well. I've also sold this before. Um, and this by itself should go for easily sell for 45 to 50 plus shipping. And I think um, I'd like to keep it in the original box, but I think the original box can fit in a Raid A box, fingers crossed. So I'll save a lot on shipping with that. I've been doing a lot more calculated shipping since this whole dimensional shipping deal started a few months back. Um, all right, then next up is this Snow Babies ornament. Now, I don't buy a lot of Snow Babies. The vast majority of them are not worth um, you know, the work of listing them and selling them. But there are some to look out for, and this is one of them, uh, which I didn't know until I looked this up when I was at the sale. But this is from their 12 Days of Christmas collection. If you go on replacements, they want... I don't know, like seventy, eighty, a hundred dollars per ornament with these. Um, the latest solds that I've looked at, they're all selling for around thirty-five to forty dollars a piece. Can't find a sold of this one. This is five golden rings. There is one currently for a buy it now of sixty-five. Um, hasn't sold yet, so I might put this one up for thirty-five or forty, and see what happens. But I was very happy to find that. The other ones you want to look for are any of the ones that have to do with um, movies, like there's Wizard of Oz Snow Babies. Uh, there are a lot of Disney themed Snow Babies. Those uh, usually are worth searching for and buying for resale. So keep an eye out for those. And then the last thing I got was. And I can't fit the whole thing in the shot, and I apologize, you guys. Is this big tree skirt, and I'll lift the camera up so you guys can see. But this is like a wool felt tree skirt with piglet applique here, and it's got um, this red cream and green plaid going on, so it's very country. And then over here on this side, as you can see is Winnie the Pooh and there's these big wooden buttons that you can secure it at the back with with the ribbons and I found this again like right towards the end right as I was about to leave I couldn't believe anybody hadn't snatched it up and it still has the original price tag on it from Disney World which is uh, $60 or maybe it was from Disney Store, but that same Disney price tag. So uh, I cannot find another one like it anywhere on eBay. I've seen them sell for anywhere. The others sell for anywhere from around 25 to I think like 60 or 70. So I think I might put mine up for auction, starting at like 50 or 60, and see what happens. Oh, but I'm I'll definitely be able to get. Probably at a minimum, at least 40. So, after all that, oh, I'll show you something else in a second. After all that I have just showed you, you guys, if you want, take a guess at how much I paid before I actually tell you. So I'll give you a few seconds, calculate all the stuff I bought, and tell you that I paid a grand total of 15 bucks <laughs> for all of this. It was insane. I was so happy. Um, then I went upstairs. They had a silent auction. Unfortunately, I didn't win anything, but I did bid on some stuff. But that's also where their jewelry was. And I did buy a couple pairs of earrings for myself. And they were all three bucks a piece. So I got 
this pair of kind of bedazzled earrings, these amber colored rhinestones, and then I would show you both of these, but I have the other one is in my ear currently. Um, these are some lamp work glass earrings, kind of like a black and white pattern, and they have sterling silver clasps on them. These are from Carnelian Knoll. It's a company out in California. So, bought myself two pairs of earrings for six bucks, and everything else I bought was a whopping 15 bucks. So the mistakes I made earlier don't hurt so much. And um, that's everything, you guys. So I hope your sales are going well. Mine are still a little up and down. I did have like a $650 day like a week and a half ago, which I was thrilled to death with. I don't think that's ever happened um, to me on eBay. And... Um, I've had some good days since then, but then there's been other days when I'll just sell like, you know, 30, 40 bucks. So far today, I've gotten, I don't know, I think I had a $6 sale. Like, woo! Um, but you just got to keep pushing and keep going. I hope all of you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you're not in the United States, you don't celebrate. Have a wonderful <laughs> Thursday the 28th. <laughs> and, um... I guess I'll talk to you guys probably after Black Friday. I hope you guys have a great holiday selling season. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.